Amber Heard's team backtracks, will not call Johnny Depp as defense witness at defamation trial. Amber Heard's legal team will not call Johnny Depp as a witness Monday as previously planned. It is the last week of testimony in the live-streamed defamation trial that has pitted the Pirates of the Caribbean star against his ex-wife. Kate Moss will testify Wednesday as a Depp rebuttal witness. Elon Musk and James Franco will not take the stand despite earlier reports supermodel Kate Moss will testify Wednesday on behalf of Johnny Depp about a staircase rumor in his bombshell defamation trial against Amber Heard, a source close to the actor told Fox News Digital. Moss, 48, is expected to testify via live video link, the source said. The cat Walker and Depp, who dated in the 90s, have remained good friends the sword. Moss got dragged into the case May 5 when Heard told jurors the only time she had ever landed a blow was during a fight with Depp over his alleged infidelity in March 2015, when she thought he was about to push her sister down the stairs. Infamous defecation incident could be to blame for Amber Heard's career decline. Johnny Depp's lawyer asked entertainment expert Catherine Arnold on cross-examination whether the infamous defecation incident could have played a role in the decline of Amber Heard's career. Arnold said that she expected Heard's ascendancy in Hollywood to follow the path of Jason Momoa, Gal Gadot and Anita Armas who also appeared in successful superhero movies. After Depp allegedly launched a smear campaign against Heard. She hasn't landed a major movie role or endorsement of those comparable actors and actresses, is there a single one that has had any press suggesting that they defecated in the marital bed? Asked Depp's lawyer Wayne Denison, I don't know. I have no idea, she replied. Depp famously accused Heard or one of her friends of pooping in their marital bed in 2016 as a prank. Denison asked Arnold whether the ugly allegation may have hurt Hurt's reputation in the industry. If one believed it, yes, Arnold said. We don't have any proof or video of anyone defecating in a bed. Amber Heard lost more than $45 million after alleged smear campaign, expert says. Amber Heard's career should have followed the trajectory of co star Jason Momoa in Aquaman. Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman and Anna de Armas in Blade Runner, instead it ground to a screeching halt. They all were on a steady rise or meteoric rise, entertainment consultant Catherine Arnold told jurors. Her career should have followed that same upward swing, Arnold called Heard's role as Mara in Aquaman her A star is born moment. But after ex husband Johnny Depp allegedly launched a smear campaign against her, she couldn't land a role or an ad campaign. Arnold estimated how much money Heard lost by comparing the careers of other actors who had starred in successful superhero films. The expert said that after Depp and his lawyer allegedly called Heard's abuse allegations a hoax, her role in Aquaman 2 was minimized, L'Oreal stopped using her in an ad campaign and no new offers. The expert said that Heard should have earned at least $45 million from unrealized movie and TV roles and endorsement deals, but didn't specify over what period. Entertainment expert says Amber Heard's op-ed had no impact on Johnny Depp. Entertainment industry expert Catherine Arnold told jurors Monday that Amber Heard's op-ed referring to herself as a domestic abuse victim had no impact on his Kurtz lawyer, Elaine Breedhoft. Asked Arnold to weigh in on Depp's claim that the piece ruined his reputation and turned him into a pariah in Hollywood. Hardly anybody knew the op-ed existed before he filed suit, Arnold said. Certainly not Disney. Depp's team has alleged that the actor was dropped from the sixth Pirates of the Caribbean over the op-ed, but Arnold testified this isn't true. There is no Pirates 6 in the making at the moment and studio bosses were already discussing taking the franchise in another direction. Depp is expensive, chronically late for shoots and has been surrounded by controversy that isn't appropriate for Disney's brand, she said. The Black Mass actor's ongoing litigation has hurt him more than the op-ed, she said. In actuality he's causing his own demise by bringing these lawsuits forward and continuing to ignite the fire of negative publicity around both of them, Arnold said.
the expert added that Heard's career cratered after Depp allegedly made defamatory statements through his lawyer calling her allegations of abuse a hoax. She was on the precipice of a meteoric rise with Aquaman before the alleged libelous comments, Arnold said. Amber Heard's team backtracks, will not call Johnny Depp as witness. Amber Heard's team will not call Johnny Depp to the stand Monday as previously planned. Depp is still expected to testify a second time as his own rebuttal witness on Wednesday. A source close to the actor told Fox News Digital Amber Heard's psych expert says actress has traits of borderline personality disorder. Dr. David Spiegel said that Amber Heard has traits of borderline and histrionic personality disorders but not enough of them to meet full criteria for a diagnosis. Johnny Depp's psych expert, Dr. Shannon Curry, diagnosed Amber Heard with both disorders. Johnny Depp may have narcissistic personality disorder. Psychiatrist testifies. Dr. David Spiegel suggested Monday that Johnny Depp is a narcissist, although the psychiatrist acknowledged that he had not directly examined the act. Spiegel described narcissistic personality traits including poor control, rapid mood shifts, undue sense of admiration, worship power, and attributed many of them to Depp. The fact he thought that Amber owed him and only wanted to be together with him because of his fame is an example of that, Spiegel said of narcissistic traits. I think the jealousy is an example of that. On cross-examination, Depp's lawyer Wayne Dennison asked Spiegel whether he had diagnosed the actor with narcissistic personality disorder. I would certainly, if I didn't, I'm certainly thinking that, but at least I'm going to say he has traits answered Spiegel. So it's a provisional diagnosis of narcissistic personality disorder. Dennison questioned Spiegel on whether he had violated the Goldwater rule, barring mental health experts from diagnosing people they have not examined. Spiegel said he had not because he did not render a definitive diagnosis. Dr. Spiegel's Marlon Brando comment prompt step to bury his head in his hand. Amber Heard's psych witness on substance abuse and intimate partner violence. David Spiegel, got combative during cross-examination. Spiegel said that the fact Johnny Depp needed his lines fed to him through an earpiece was consistent with cognitive decline caused by drug abuse. On cross-examination, Depp's lawyer Wayne Dennison said the actor used the earpiece to listen to music as part of his process. He also questioned Spiegel on whether he knew that Hollywood film legend Marlon Brando also used an earpiece. Isn't he dead? replied Spiegel, prompting Depp to laugh then put his head in his hands. In another exchange, Spiegel admitted he called Depp an idiot implanting in his deposition. Johnny Depp's defamation trial against Amber Heard breaks for lunch. Redirect of psychiatrist David Spiegel, Amber Heard's medical expert, is expected to begin at 1.53 p.m. Johnny Depp to take stand again Wednesday. Johnny Depp will be called to testify again on Wednesday in his defamation trial against ex-wife Amber Heard, a source close to the actor told Fox News Digit. The Pirates of the Caribbean star is expected to be called as a rebuttal witness. Depp has already spent four days in the witness box sharing his side of the warring pair's toxic marriage which has been put under a microscope during the trial in Fairfax County Circuit Court, in Virginia. Johnny Depp's behavior consistent with a perpetrator of domestic violence, psychiatrist says. Psychiatrist David Spiegel testified Monday as a defense witness for Amber Heard's legal team. Mr. Depp has behaviors that are consistent with someone who has substance abuse disorder as well as someone who is a perpetrator of intimate partner violence. Sedge Peagle, an expert in addiction and intimate partner violence also known as domestic violence. Peagle said that Depp's alcohol and cocaine abuse has impacted his attention span and memory so much so that the actor has his lines fed to him in an earpiece. Johnny Depp told his personal doctor that Amber Heard cut off his finger. Jurors heard for the first time Monday that Johnny Depp told his personal doctor that he lost his fingertip after Amber Heard threw a vodka bottle. Dr. David Kipper was providing emergency treatment for the injury in the driveway of Depp's rented home in Australia back in March 2015 after the blowout. Informing your opinion, did you consider that? 
Mr. Depp told him that his finger was injured when M's heard threw a vodka bottle at him? Asked Depp's lawyer Camille Vasquez during cross-examination of Drive Richard Moore Jr. I don't recall that from the deposition, replied Moore, an orthopedic surgeon with a speciality in hands. He testified on direct that Depp's finger injury was not caused by a vodka bottle based on medical records and the actor's own testimony. Vasquez also showed more photos of the bar area, where a house manager later found the detached digit. There is shattered glass on the floor and blood. Moore said he had not seen these photos before forming his opinion, but they did not change his conclusion that Depp didn't injure his finger from a vodka bottle shattering on his hand. Orthopedic surgeon admits on cross can't rule out that a vodka bottle caused the injury. Amber Heard's medical expert, Dr. Richard Moore Jr., conceded on cross that he can't rule out that a vodka bottle caused the injury to Johnny Depp's fingertip. He added that he can rule out that the injury was caused by the mechanism described by Mr. Depp in his deposition, as Depp rolled his eyes and smirked that Moore did not personally examine Depp but relied on medical records and the actor's testimony. The doctor has been an expert witness in two other cases for Hurd's legal team and earns $5,000 a day for his testimony. Orthopedic surgeon says Johnny Depp's story about vodka bottle injury doesn't add up. Dr. Richard Moore Jr. told jurors Monday that Johnny Depp has a crush injury that didn't occur from Amber Heard hurling a vodka bottle at him. Based on your analysis, did Mr. Depp's injury happen as a result of a vodka bottle being thrown at him? Hurt's lawyer asked no, Moore replied. Depp testified that his hand was resting palm down over a bar when Heard threw the bottle and it struck his hand, slicing off the tip of his right middle finger, but gruesome photos of the injury show that the nail on Depp's middle finger was completely intact, and there was no blood under the nail bed. Moore said that if a bottle struck the outside of Depp's hand, the nail should show signs of trauma. X-rays of Depp's finger showed that the bone had splintered, and Moore said this is not consistent with a bottle shattering on Depp's hand. If the bottle smashed his hand, as Depp testified, there should be other lacerations, he said.